If an octagon has eight sides and an octopus has eight feet, why is October the 10th month? You might have heard that this is because Julius and Augustus were inserted into the calendar as the months July and August, but that's not true. Those months actually already existed. They were just called something else before Julius and Augustus. Specifically, they were called Quintilis and Sextilis, which fits perfectly into the numbered naming tradition that's continued by September, October, November, December. So who can we blame for this if not Julius and Augustus? Whose fault is it that the months and their numbers don't line up? Well, you might have noticed that this system counts up to 10, December. You might therefore be wondering, were January and February months 11 and 12? No, they weren't. It's so much sillier and funnier than that. January and February did not exist in the original Roman calendar system. Like there was the year, which was 10 months from March to December, and then there was winter, which was not part of the year. It was a different thing. <laughs> this guy Numa Pompilius is credited with dividing the winter period into January and February and sticking those onto the calendar, but Numa Pompilius is the semi-mythical second king of Rome who reigned after Romulus himself, and even later Roman historians said that this was such a distant time that there's really no way of knowing what was true and what wasn't. We just have enough evidence to confidently say that this older calendar used to exist, and then and at some point January and February were added. So I'm sorry for ruining your the guy responsible should be stabbed jokes, but I do think it's even funnier that one, January and February did not exist, send this to your friend with a January birthday by the way, and uh, two, they only bothered to name the first few months and then they numbered the rest of them, which has very ADHD unfinished project energy that I kind of respect.